financial problems, elder law, criminal law, tax problems, business matters, divorce, personal injury, bankruptcy, your life, your reality. Life is complicated. There is the law and there is reality. Welcome to Law and Reality, sponsored by Thav Gross. Now here's your host, Ken Gross. Welcome to this segment of Law and Reality. Today's topic is resolving credit card debt. Brian Small, Mr. Credit Card. No, Mr. Anti-Credit Card. Mr. Anti-Credit Card. Mr. Make the credit card go debt go away. That's my job, and I love doing it. You have such a confident smile. I hate there. So the banks. We're done with him. Thank you. <laughs> Jeffrey Kirshner. That's him. That's me. <laughs> sure, you're paying attention, Jeffrey Linden. Good morning. How are you? Well. Text me. <laughs> Jeffrey Kirshner, welcome back. Uh, Oh, that is me. That's Sorry. Yeah. Uh, it's good to be back. Uh, getting our credit card debt, everyone thinks it's impossible. Everyone thought this was going to be impossible for us to come back live, yet we've weathered through it, got vaccinated. So if we can do this, we can get through credit card debt. And every, and a I'll, and I'll, little, little social comment. And everybody is eligible now for the vaccine, by the, and you, so you should take advantage of it. That just without Absolutely. any further, you know, you know without any, uh, any, no political comment at all. Just science says if you're vaccinated, you're protecting yourself. So, so and your family. Changing a little bit, I, I don't know we could do it, but it's too bad. You remember the Newhart show? Bob Newhart, no, yeah. Not, not the old one, but the Bob Newhart when he was the innkeeper, and then it was this. I'm Larry. This is my brother Daryl. This is my other brother Daryl. That's what popped in my head when you were mixing up. Your brother's Jeff. Jeffrey yeah. Kirshner, Jeffrey Linden. <laughs> Or Jeffrey, and Jeffrey. Who are you? Larry, <laughs> third no base. Idea. <laughs> okay, let's talk about credit card debt. All right. Why credit card debt is evil and the credit card trap is the first subtopic I want to explore, and I want to do it with a case study. Ron and Amanda, they're both 45. They got three kids. Ron's an insurance agent and a financial planner. Amanda's a dental hygienist. They have good income, $190,000 a year. They live in a nice home in the suburbs. The strange thing is they only have $5,000 saved in the bank, and they have $120,000 of credit card debt. It's not strange. They have three children. There's no question. At $190,000 a year is good income, but when you have three kids, that money just gets sucked out like a vacuum cleaner cleaning out a wallet. Are you saying that children are bloodsuckers? Pretty much, children are not blood suckers; they're cash suckers. Okay. Well, now we have a window into his family. <laughs> I would, having raised two daughters, I would have to say I, I find myself in uncharted waters. You agree, agree with, with me? You. Yes. <laughs> what movie was that from? I cannot tell I can't you. place that one. Okay, I'll think about it. All right, monthly budget. Their net income: eleven thousand dollars a month. Mortgage payment: twenty nine fifty. So they got a big house payment. They got a nice house. Credit card payments on the 120,000, two and a half percent a month, three thousand dollars a month. Auto loans, eleven hundred dollars. Student loan, five hundred. Insurance, fuel, five hundred. Utilities, four hundred. Cable, phone, three fifty. Life insurance, three hundred. Food, fourteen hundred. Fifteen hundred for entertainment. Tra total expenses, twelve thousand. They're negative nine hundred dollars a month. That's why the credit card balances are where they they're are. They're negative nine nine hundred dollars a month because they're not spending in the most responsible fashion at the moment. No, I'm saying this is what they're spending. I'm right. not saying whether it's, yeah, you, you, I see you circled the entertainment because yeah, you think that that's, you know, they happen to enjoy life. There's, and they should. Everyone I, should be enjoying I'm life. I'm including in entertainment dance lessons, golf lessons, hockey lessons, baseball travel Oh, wait, if you're talking league. about hockey, your number's way okay. too low, trust me. I mean, because just like you said, you have kids and they do cost a lot of money if you decide to Fun. take advantage of those opportunities right. that they have. Okay, so they, they have the classic credit card trap. Their monthly payments 
use up all their cash because they're paying three thousand dollars a month on those cards. So and they're paying it, and the the thing that's going through their mind is, is we can afford it, because that's the general. What happens is, yes. is people get to that point where, well, I'm paying my credit cards, I don't have any savings, but I'm doing okay, and they justify. Then it's some a rational, pays, reasonable expense. Some months he pays more than the minimum payment. Yeah, so I do, we're doing fine. But wait, in the next month they say, well, I paid this much more. The credit card's going to allow me to spend this amount. I can take it to the limit again and because there, I paid it down. So and, and, there's, and there lies your problem. They're not even necessarily at their limit. But when you take all of your available cash and you pay them out on the cards and your other bills and you have no cash... In reserve, when you have to buy something, you have to use your card. You use the card, so then the balance goes down, and the balance comes right back up. It never goes away. For and they're run, paying, it, paying all of this at an average of probably twenty plus percent interest, which is thirty six hundred dollars a year. Thirty six thousand dollars a year. Thank you. Good difference. Yeah. Okay. The whole <laughs> issue is they will never get out of that debt. If they don't do something, they will. They could continue on this way, but look at the passage of time. All of a sudden, 10 and 20 years, they've paid all this interest, and they have no money in the bank. They may have a good credit score, but that's not going to get them a retirement. So that's the classic credit card trap. That's, that's where it is. Now, if they could get rid of the credit cards. Like that. Like that. Look at their budget. I'm putting it on the screen. The same expenses they had, the only thing I've eliminated is the credit card expense. And then instead of being negative $900 a month, they're positive $2,083. Nothing has changed. If they take that positive $2,083 and they invest it at 6% interest, in five years, 10 years, and 20 years, how much money will they have? Oodles. 145000 in five years, which is a drop in the bucket. 10 years, 341000 and in 20 years, 964000 That's when they're 50, 55, and 65. These are real numbers, and the question is, when they want to retire, what are they going to have in the bank if they get rid of the credit card debt? Versus if they don't. We'll take a break and one of you will answer that question. COVID-19 presents a fight for our personal and business financial survival. You have to make choices. Cash is critical. Do you tap your retirement, home equity line, or run up the credit cards? You need the right plan to avoid being wiped out. And you need it now. You can't rely on the government or banks. Call us. We're the experts in financial crisis. We are here for you and your business in the Great Recession, and we're here for you now. We will create a plan and get through this together. Thavgos will solve your problem. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Favgro specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. I love you too. Bye-bye. That was Jerry. Emma just said her first word. Oh. Jerry says hello and they'll be over soon. Who's Jerry? Is he a friend of yours? No. This Jerry. Our Jerry. And this is his wife and their little girl. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. 
We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke, and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. All right, so we're back. So I posed the question. If they get rid of the credit card debt, where will they be in 20 years versus if they don't? How much will they have in the bank if they keep their $120,000 of credit card debt and just service it for 20 years? The same $5,000 in savings they have right now. And that's what they'll retire with? And they'll owe $120,000 no, no, to the credit card? No, they'll work till the day they die. Okay. And if they get rid of the credit cards? They could have close to a million dollars at this point, maybe more. Okay. It, it, it's but you know, so I, wait, big. I want to point something out. Th these numbers that we're talking about. Cut them in half. These are big numbers. Right. Cut right? them in half. But but if you take the regular person, make not it making $190,000 a year, but make it 110000 if they could save... Save make it sixty thousand dollars of the credit card debt or forty thousand. Make you it still 60. could have seven hundred thousand dollars in the bank after twenty years or nearly there. These are the numbers. If it's sixty if you had sixty thousand dollars of credit card debt and you got rid of that, which was fifteen hundred dollars a month, and you saved it at six percent interest, how much money would you have? Apparently, it's six hundred ninety-four thousand after 20, in twenty years. Yeah. So, but the, even cut that in half just for perspective. Good point. If you can save seven hundred and fifty bucks a month. And not have years. credit card debt over 20 years, you're going to have $350,000 in the bank. And that's what you don't have now. And if you have $300,000 in the bank at, at age 65, and your house is paid for, and you have zero debt, and you have Social Security to live on, you're, you're guaranteed at least a comfortable retirement. You're not going to be worried about feeding yourself. You're not going to be a ward of your children. You're not going to have to say, hey, I supported you. you got to support me. And that's an important thing for people, and you've got to be practical. You've got to plan for it. You can't wait to 64 to, to, to make that move. But if you make that move at 45 and 50, you have plenty of time to do so. All right, now, how does debt resolution work? So how do we get rid of the credit cards? We're not talking, we've covered bankruptcy a million times, and we will do it again on the show, but we're not talking bankruptcy. We're talking... For Ron and Amanda, debt resolution, because they make $190,000 a year. We, we They're have, not a candidate for bankruptcy. We have to, because the candidate that they are is for Chapter 13, which they would pay the full amount of credit card debt in full over five years. So this is a better result. So the, if you can pay less, that's what you should. You all should. Right. So the first step we always do when someone comes in is we analyze, could you qualify for Chapter 7? And if not, would Chapter 13 be beneficial? In their case, it would Chapter 13 could work, but it wouldn't work as well as this because debt resolution works better. And the next step is we use what Brian loves to call the power of the minimum monthly payment. And what that means is... There should be an echo after that. Dun, 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 yeah. Power, power, power. I don't know. I have no idea what power, this is. Power, power, power of the minimum, <laughs> minimum, minimum monthly payment, 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 payment. How's that? Yeah. It's after oh, the, the yeah. monster truck rally at the Silver Dome. Yeah, okay. you, know, you know this expression, right. don't quit your day job? Got it. Yeah. All right. So here, <laughs> what we mean by that is we're going to use the minimum monthly payments over 18 to 24 months to get rid of the credit card debt to cover any legal expense to do so, and to cover any tax consequences that would arise as a result of canceled debt. What you have to realize is if you owe Visa $50,000 and they settle for ten, 
they're going to issue you a 1099 for $40,000 that's, that's ordinary income. Sometimes we can get that excluded depending on your financial situation, but other times you have to pay tax on it, and your tax bracket, then you have to take into account the tax consequences. Yeah, I mean, it's a simple rule. If you're insolvent before and after the forgiveness of the debt, it's not taxable. Well, what's insolvent? To be maybe? quite honest, most people that come in that are already in that much credit card debt are insolvent it, and aren't going to pay taxes on that forgiven debt. The, What's the, insolvent answer, the, the answer to insolvent is you have more liabilities than assets, but it includes any retirement money. So it also includes equity and assets. I'm going on the assumption Ron and Amanda have a nice house and they have equity. Okay. But they also have student loans and they, that right. aren't going to go away. And but, there's a lot of debt so, there that may allow them to not pay tax on correct. this. Correct. But, but the point of the program is we evaluate the tax consequence and make sure that it's taken into account so that you're still out of debt in that 18 to 24 month window. So you take the $3,000 a month they're paying right now. On 18 months, that's 54000 on 24 months, that's 72,000. 72 is going to be more than enough so to here's solve the, the problem. Answer. Between 54 and 72,000, we're going to get them out of debt. And here's how it's, here's how it'll play out for them. On average, we find that we settle the debt with all the different companies averaged together at around 37 and a half percent. So you take that times the 120,000, that's 45,600. I'm allowing $10,000 for tax consequences. That's on the forgiven debt at a marginal bracket of 17%. Legal expense runs 9% of the total amount of the credit card debt. That's $10,000. This would come out to a projected cost of $66,400, which would, at $3,000 a month would mean 22 months. So they use their 22-month power of their minimum monthly payment to resolve all the debt on a projected goal of 22 months. Now, remember, if they don't do this, they're spending $3,000 a month for the rest of their life. 22 months is over, their debt is gone, and now that $2,083 that we said starts going into the bank and earning the 6% interest and saving for retirement. This is their best alternative. It, with their income, they're out of debt in less than two years. And also, if they sued, if they're sued with our program, we defend the lawsuit. Because if you have multiple credit cards, some of them will probably end up suing. Because it comes down to this: we don't want to take the lousy settlement. We want the best settlement. Sometimes you got to wait till they sue, and then we settle with the attorney. So, so it's it, it, we're different when you when you hear debt settlement companies, they don't defend you. They don't aggressively try and get the lowest amount, and they charge way more for their service. Actually, debt usually 15 they, to 25 percent of the debt is what they're. And they are. talk about a four-year program. It has nothing to do with the approach that we have with debt resolution. Debt resolution we created as lawyers for our clients. We'll take a break, and then we're going to do a court proceeding, real life story. Carrying too much debt, resolve your debt. Call Fav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. A lifetime of hard work. If you don't have the right plan in place, you can lose your home, your savings, and more. And you didn't come this far to lose everything. Samasco Law wants you to know that laws are changing. Today, the average cost of nursing home care is $85,000 a year. With proper planning, we can help protect your life savings and get you the Medicaid and nursing home benefits you deserve. How much can you afford to lose? Call Samasco Law today. Time for announcements. I want to remind our viewers to listen to us for Law & Reality Live on the Praise Network, Tuesdays 10 o'clock a.m., Saturdays 7 o'clock a.m., and on KISS 105.9, Sunday 7 o'clock a.m. We've got webinars, webinars coming up on May 5th this year at 6 o'clock p.m. You need an estate plan. Stop saying it and just do it. 
This is going to be an estate plan that covers the basics of what you need in order to put your estate plan in order. You have to realize there are two aspects to an estate plan. While you're living, you need the durable power of attorney and the health care power. And to cover your death, you need a revocable living trust that takes care of the disposition of your assets and also has adequate protections for your children and your spouse in case there's creditor issues. You don't want to miss this. Sign up at thavgross.com, lawandreality.com, or call 888-235-HELP. It'll be a Zoom webinar. You can attend and watch it from home or on your cell phone. Remember, it's at 6 o'clock p.m. on Wednesday, May 5th. And then anytime you can go to our website and watch our free webinar on financial issues. It is called How to Eliminate Your Debt and Get a Fresh Start and Live Debt Free. Remember, to be free, you must be debt free. We talk about all the methods we use to address debt. Solutions using bankruptcy, solutions outside of bankruptcy. There's a special segment for small businesses facing debt and foreclosure and, and closure issues. You want to learn your available options uh, with regard to bankruptcy and outside of bankruptcy. Attendees get a free copy of my book, Dump Your Debt. You just fill out a form and we send the book to you after you've watched the webinar. Also, we have free consultations. You can come into the office now with social distancing and masks, or we can do a tele teleconference or a video conference uh, from your home. Just call 888-235-HELP or go online and sign up. Debt issues, tax issues, estate planning issues, business issues, elder law issues with Pat, disability issues with Jeff Kirshner, criminal law issues with Scott Weinberg. Sign up at lawandreality.com or call 888-235-HELP. Also, go to the website. There's free reports. There's one on tax problems, how to save your home from foreclosure, forming businesses and loans and grants uh, for businesses in Detroit, and uh, Pat Samasco's Retiree, Retiree's Guide to Social Security. I want to thank our sponsors, Thav Gross, Samasco Law, Kirshner Law. Now back to the show. COVID-19 presents a fight for our personal and business financial survival. You have to make choices. Cash is critical. Do you tap your retirement, home equity line, or run up the credit cards? You need the right plan to avoid being wiped out, and you need it now. You can't rely on the government or banks. Call us. We're the experts in financial crisis. We are here for you and your business in the Great Recession, and we're here for you now. We'll create a plan and get through this together. Thavgross will solve your problem. Okay, we're back. All right, it is time for our new and next court proceeding. Calling the case. Not yet. Yes, Quiet. now. Quiet. <laughs> Calm down. So Let down, me set the clerk. stage so that you understand what we have. Visa has sued Ron and Amanda on a $20,000 credit card balance. The best settlement offer that Brian was able to get was $16,000, a 20% discount, and he was dead set opposed to accepting it. He said, we will not accept that result. So Calling the case. Brian Small... <laughs> We have to kill him. <laughs> Brian Small served a notice of deposition on Visa to depose the head of their consumer credit department. Visa has filed to bring them to our offices in Michigan and Detroit at Thavgros to take their deposition. Visa has filed a motion for a protective order to force Brian and me to go to Texas to take the deposition. I don't want to go to Texas. Brian wants Visa to bring the credit manager to Michigan so that we can depose him in this office. So and Brian has me in the role of arguing this case before the judge. Now, calling the case. Visa versus Ron and Amanda Smith. Let's rock and roll. Present, the Honorable <laughs> Jeffrey Kirshner. You forgot to introduce the judge. I don't Clark. have to introduce the judge. The judge is right there. I need no introduction, but it would have been nice. <sighs> your Honor, it's your yes, court. Yes, uh, thank you. It is my court. It's, I don't know, what time is it? I'll, I'll talk to you guys in about an hour or so. Thank you for coming here early. All right, <laughs> this is a protective order. Do you want appearances, Judge? Yes, I would like appearances from the parties. Who's the moving party here? Your Honor, this is... Uh, Actually, Your Honor, we are the moving party. We're moving for... No, you are the, I'm moving, the moving party. party. Settle down, That's counsel. That's right. Go ahead. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> let, me, let me adjust my glasses Your Honor, just properly. so you know, we have three minutes for this trial. All right. Your Honor, Jeff Linden appearing on behalf of the moving party, Visa. 
And I want to object and move for recusal because I don't understand how your court clerk was negotiating this debt with me only <laughs> yesterday. Well, first of all, you've got an excellent first name, so I appreciate that. Uh, Honor, don't point. Honor, it's not polite. <laughs> Your Honor, who's on the other side? Your Honor, here? Ken Gross appearing on behalf of the defendant in the lawsuit who has served the notice, notice of deposition and also my co-counsel, Brian, co Brian Small. I'll wait a second here. Objection! Two of, two of you? <laughs> Let's get to two the of heart, you. Your Honor. You need more than two to battle Lyndon. That's all I'm saying. But go ahead. Your motion, go ahead. Your Honor, this motion is completely unnecessary and frivolous. He's just stalling for time. He wants to force my uh, uh, accounts manager, who our headquarters are in Texas, where all their records are and everything, to fly here to Michigan so that he can go through this ruse of saying, yes, I didn't make these payments, and we have records of his not making the payments. It's ridiculous. Yes, there's COVID-19. Yes, there's difficulties involved. But we have Zoom, Your Honor. We don't have to travel to Michigan. We should be protected from this crazy, expensive, out-of-control counsel. Okay. Compelling. Possibly. Your Honor, we have, COVID has been lifted at this point in this fictional trial, so there's ample opportunity for my deposition to be taken it's live. The facts. theory is not to go through the payments that were made. It is our theory that Visa as a matter of course is overcharging every consumer because when you send in a payment to Visa and you mail it or you electronically make the payment on Friday they have a habit of always posting that payment on Monday or Tuesday and what they're doing by doing that your honor is they're charging extra interest to every American consumer that's using that credit card that means that the balance that Mr. Linden's client is suing my client on is not correct and therefore it is not proper for him to be able to get a judgment against us on that basis until the amount is determined. And I need to take the live deposition of the credit manager who's in charge of making those decisions to ask him why it is that they are fleecing the American public in the way they apply payments for the purpose of just gouging us for more interest and more money. And I have the right to take the deposition. They do business in Michigan. They have all their credit cards are in Michigan with giving them the Michigan people. They should be forced to come here to stand for the deposition. Any counter? And He's these are wrong. not my words, He's Your wrong. Honor. These are Mr. Smalls, I want Absolutely. You Your Honor, I can only say not that. Not said enough. You do business in Michigan, correct? We need a ruling, Your Honor. We have a lawsuit in Michigan, right? And Mr. Gross did such a fabulous job that he did not permit Mr. Small to speak, which would win in any courtroom. Motion granted. <laughs> Motion denied. Oh, motion denied. Motion denied. You're, you're coming to Michigan. Thank you, you, Your Honor. <laughs> Never happened. We'll be back next week for Quad Reality.